Hi friends. In order to uh, create a new page in Clever, so this is my Clever homeroom or home page. In order to create a new page, I would click this green button down here that says Add. Once I do that, I can either put an app to the uh, home page or I can create a page uh, and that is what I'm going to do. So I click Page. It says I've successfully created a new page. Yay, I've done it. Now, I need to personalize this page. I need to make this page more accessible to my students. So in order to do that, I would rename it. I'm gonna rename this as my test page. And then I can click this little button over here, this little guy that says personalize. And then I can create, a, or I can personalize this by either uploading a picture. You can upload a picture of yourself so the, the um, students know that it's your page. Or you can use one of the um, pre-generated icons I will pick the purple kangaroo because I feel like that best suits me as a human being. Uh, so here my page, is, um, my page is all set. My subtext is going to be this is a test page. But I'm going to spell this correctly. All right, now I have my page created. This page is not yet shared to students and I have no content for this page. In order to add something to this page I would click my little add button down here just like I did when I created this page and if I would like to use an app or add an app to this page I simply click on the the option that says app and say I would like to have my students use iReady I simply type in ready and you can see that it's already generated as an app so I would add iReady to this page and once I've added iReady, it automatically generates a category for me. So I'm going to rename this as my test one. Sure. Test one. And I have iReady in this uh, category. If I would like to add a, an external link, I uh, click my plus icon, then link. And what it does is it asks me to paste my URL here. I use Khan Academy as supplemental learning. So I will copy the URL from Khan Academy, head back over to Clever, and paste that in there. Then underneath it says link name. I'm going to call this Khan. And then down below that it has your category. I only have test one as my category, so that's where it's going to go. Again, I can upload a custom icon. Or I can use one of the pre-generated icons. I'll use the one that looks like uh, geometry shapes in a ruler and other stuff and I'll add that link once you do so you now have your links here iReady and Khan Academy if you click on that it's going to take you directly to Khan Academy just like if you click on iReady I'm not going to do so because it may reveal some student names uh, if you click on iReady it will take you directly to the iReady login screen if you want to create an area that has um, another category uh, you would click add then category. This is going to create another category and this one I could use uh, for my Zoom meetings, I could use for my lesson plans, I could use whatever I'd like. Once I have now my test 1 and my test 2 category, I can simply drag and drop my icons wherever I choose. And when you create another app, so one of the other apps we use is Study Island, I would click on that, add study island, and it's for some reason, oh, not for some reason, because I didn't choose where this um, new app was going to go, so it created a new category for me. I don't want this category, so I'm going to drag study island down to test two. That now leaves me with this empty category, and I don't want that because it doesn't look pleasing to me. So I can simply click the X over here. Once I do so, it's going to ask me if I'm sure I want to delete this and I simply delete category. Now, I've got my page set up and I am ready to go. The only downfall is, is I don't have students in here yet. In order to have students access this, you're gonna click edit student sharing, and then you can choose whichever you'd like. One or more classes, this is your classes you have access to. I usually do all students I teach because it's going to make sure that it's pushed out to every student. Once you do that, I'm going to hit cancel because I don't want to push this out. 
But once you do that, and you go back to your new your home page in Clever, your students will now be able to sh to see because these are now shared, so they'll now be able to see that page that you just created. I hope this helps. I'll be doing some more videos in the near future, but I truly believe that this is uh, going to help you guys and help your students. See you later.